In today's video, we're going to do, you guessed it, a medicine bag. First you need a scrap piece of leather. Uh, make a rectangle out of it. And trim it off square. And for this video, you'll need a sharp pair of scissors, a small hole punch, and a large hole punch, a needle, and sinew. Now on the rectangle piece that you just made, you're going to punch holes that you'll be sewing down one side and the other. Um, unlike my other leather work, this is not an exact science. The holes just roughly get them uniformed. They don't need to be perfect. Now if you were making a wallet or another type of leather work that I do, you would use a punch to do these holes that would be exact. But as you see they don't have to be exactly uniform. And you start sewing. Leave a little bit of tail to tie and just in and out all the way. Now, medicine pouches can get very small. You can make small medicine pouches that are about this size, and larger medicine pouches that are about this size. Anything larger than that size, you start getting into a carrion. But yeah, you just continue sewing. Now, if you don't have a punch, you can use a hammer and nail. Oops. Now when you get to the end of this, you're going to reverse it. Now when you get to this, then you go. That way your stitching kind of looks like that. And you're going to go all the way back. And if you want to add fringe, 
all you need to do is cut another single rectangle piece and you would have added it onto the bottom here. But don't forget that you have to put it on the inside of this because you will be turning it inside out. Sometimes that happens. You'll be sewing along good and your needle will come out. If I was using the other type of thread that I use for making a wallet or saddle-y, saddle type stuff, purses, handbags, other stuff, I would have been able to attach the rope a special way so it wouldn't have fell off. But you just use the you just leave a little bit of overhang like I did here. You thread it through, leave a little bit of overhang. Everything works out pretty good most of the time. And when you go slower you can make sure that it's not slipping off and going faster. Now anybody following along and I'm going too fast, just put me on pause. I'll wait until you catch up and then start the video again once you reach the point where I am. Now at this point, we're going to tie these two ends now. Now you can either do a triple knot or you can touch it touch it with a lighter to melt them and it'll hold fine. So at this point you take your large your large leather punch and you're gonna punch four holes along the top. Again, if you're making this for somebody and you want to make sure it's really neat, you just take your time with this, make sure it's uniformed, and you can just trim off a little bit of this. And you got your holes. The backs always don't seem to punch out 100%. Now you turn it inside out. Oh, and that's another thing too, is depending on what side you want on the outside, it has to go on the inside during sewing. There, your medicine pouch portion is done. Now once again, you need your scrap piece of leather, Start cutting, start cutting for your lace. I circle mine off so it's easier. This is the same way that you cut rawhide lace, the same way you cut any hand cut lace. As you get closer to the center, you might have to trim off some of these edges when you cut. Try to make them as uniform as possible, but with hand cut, hand cut lace, it's always, you can always tell hand cut lace.
this is what I mean right here. It's this piece. You'll see that. You can take the time to go through all that and trim it off, make it more uniformed. I'm not going to at this particular time. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do this. And get your lace, cut it in half. Here's those pieces I told you about. You just kind of trim them off to make a nice nice looking lace and I always put a point on them that way it makes it easier for me to thread through these holes now here is the part that's hard to this is going to have a double drawstring so it'll be a drawstring effect. So it goes in out. In and out. Pull halfway through, get to the other side. Make sure it has its point to make it easier for you. So then in, out, in, out, there's one side then. Now, I usually tie these two together so I don't get confused with the other side. Just temporarily tie them together so you don't get confused. And make sure there's a good point because it's going to be a little tighter now. A little tighter to get. Now, this is the. Now you're going to go in this side. Just kind of stretch the holes open so you can get them. And you're just going to go reverse. Don't worry about even them yet. You can uh, just get them in. You can even them out after. It's much easier to. That side, grab this, flip it over. This is where that point really comes in handy. Oops. I don't know how long I had you off camera there for a second, but same way. This is where you can even them out, put the two ends together in the pull, and there you go. You just made a muscle pouch. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.